Hey guys, welcome back to Journey with Rebecca. My name is Rebecca, and in today's journey, I'm making a quick and easy DIY foaming face wash. So for a couple weeks now, I've been eking the very last life out of this store-bought face wash, adding water to it. I'm pretty sure it's more water than anything else now, and I can't pretend any longer that it's getting my face clean, but I just haven't had time. Um, so I'm making time today because it's raining and I can't be outside. So this comes together really quick and you only need a couple of ingredients and you can make it right at home and leave the store-bought stuff. So I was trying to read the ingredients of this store-bought face wash before I started recording and I cannot pronounce many words at all. Um, but the very last part, I was surprised. So it contains yellow dye number five and red 40. Well, those dyes are really bad for you, and I personally don't need dye in my face wash, so I think it's way better to just make yours at home. You only need a couple of things to get started making this face wash. First thing you're gonna need is a foaming soap dispenser. Um, I'm using a recycled one that I had from soap from the store, or you can go ahead and go and buy one online. So you need this. You're gonna need some Dr. Bronner soap. I'm using unscented. You can use scented if you prefer. I'm just choosing to use unscented because it's going on my face and I want it to be gentle. Not that Dr. Bronner's isn't gentle anyways, but just my preference. And then I'm adding some vitamin E oil. Vitamin E oil is great for your skin, great for getting rid of free radicals, whole lot of great benefits for that. I would add witch hazel to this for its great um, natural antibacterial properties, but I can't find it right now and I'm done looking for things for this video. So um, you can add that as well. You can add essential oils if you would like. I'm skipping that and then leaving them out. And then the only other thing you need is um, distilled water. If you don't have distilled water, that's fine. All you need to do is boil water, let it cool, and use that. All right, so you're just going to start with a quarter cup of your Dr. Bronner's soap. You can add that right into your dispenser, soap dispenser. And then you're going to do one tablespoon of vitamin E oil. Um, if you don't have vitamin E oil, that's fine. You could also use jojoba oil. That would be good as well. I use that in my hand soap. So just a tablespoon of vitamin E. And then I'm filling up the rest of the container with my distilled water. All you need is those three ingredients. Like I said, you could add the witch hazel or you could add the essential oils if you wanted to. Totally up to you. You could switch out jojoba oil if you don't have vitamin E oil. But that's it. That's all it takes. And then you end up with this wonderful foaming soft face wash that doesn't have red dye or yellow dye or any of that stuff in it that's not good for you it's natural it's easy to make and for me it's a much better alternative i hope you enjoyed this quick video on how to make your own diy foaming face wash if you did please be sure to give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and share and i will see you all soon